हेलो एवन टुडे विल स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक स्ट्रक्चर बेसिटी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ अमीन्स सो हियर वी विल सी द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन एल्केन अमीन्स एंड अमोनिया सो एज यू नो दैट द अमीन्स हैव नेचर ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग प्रोटॉन्स एंड दे आर बेसिक इन नेचर सो वी विल सी विच वन इज मोर बेसिक इधर इट इज एल्केन अमीन्स और अमोनिया so first we will see uh, the reaction of alkane amines with the acid to accept the proton so uh, this is the alkane amine r nh2 okay so uh, it will have a lone pair the nitrogen have will uh, uh, will have a lone pair of electron and acid will be added or proton will be added to it and what will happen that uh, this uh, nitrogen will take the proton and it will form a ammonium cation so here this ammonium cation is formed right uh, then uh, we'll have to compare it with ammonia so we will uh, now make the ammonia structure so ammonia is nh3 and it will also take up the proton so what will be formed cation will be formed so this cation will be formed now you can see that uh, here there is alkyl group but here there is no alkyl group so due to inductive effect this will uh, due to inductive effect this alkyl group will release electrons towards the uh, electron deficient nitrogen atom so this po positive charge will be balanced but here this is not the case because there is absence of alkyl group so we can see that this will be more stabilized cation and the more the stabilized cation the more uh, basicity of the molecule so therefore alkane amine this alkane amine is more basic in nature than as compared to the ammonia uh, due to the stability of the cation formed so in this way we can see that the more the alkyl groups so here if we add uh, if this is a secondary amine then it will be more basic and if it will be tertiary amine then it will be more basic than secondary amine so the uh, order of basicity of amines can be said to be first the tertiary amines are most basic then secondary amines then primary amines and then comes the ammonia so this is the basic order of ammonia uh, amines uh, but this is the case in gaseous phase this is the case in gaseous phase that only inductive um, effect is taking the uh, place but in the aqueous phase what happens in the aqueous uh, phase solvation also comes into action solvation so uh, in the case of solvation what happens that the uh, more the solvation the more the stability of the cation and hence the basicity increase and solvation happens when there are more number of hydrogen atom then more solvation will take place i'll show you how so in aqueous phase we will see that solvation also takes place in aqueous phase so uh, for example we take primary amine first so this is the uh, cation of primary amine right and uh, here what will happen that it will form hydrogen bonding with the water molecules so from three hydrogen atoms it will form uh, um, hydrogen bonding with the water molecules and then comes the uh, secondary amine uh, amine uh, cation so so 
so this is secondary amine so it will also form hydrogen bonding with the water molecule so this was for uh, primary amine this was secondary amine and now comes the tertiary amine so this one is tertiary amine and it will also form it will also form hydrogen bonding with the water molecule so as you can see that here more solvation is there here uh, less and the least solvation in this molecule that is tertiary amine cation so uh, as the solvation decreases the stability of the cation also decreases and when the stability of cation decreases therefore the basicity also decreases so the primary uh, amine will be more basic then comes the secondary amine and then comes the tertiary amine so it got reversed in aqueous phase in gaseous phase it was tertiary then secondary then primary it was gaseous phase right and in aqueous phase there is primary then secondary then tertiary this is aqueous phase and this is the order of basicity of amines right now one thing more that in uh, aqueous phase uh, in gaseous phase there was only plus i effect working inductive effect and in aqueous phase there is a uh, inductive effect and solvation and also steric hindrance so steric hindrance is when we change the alkyl group so uh, when so when there will be a larger alkyl group like c2h5 then what will happen that it will create steric hindrance for the solvation to take place so when uh, there will be steric hindrance there will be less so, uh, solvation and then, then basic basicity also decreases so in case of c2h5 if you see that what will be the order of the basicity then it will be secondary tertiary and primary so in case of c2h5 it will be secondary will be greater than tertiary then primary this because here the uh, all the three factors are performing uh, the uh, criteria for basicity so uh, secondary will be highest then comes the tertiary due to steric hindrance and uh, due to inductive effect and then least will be the primary amine right so uh, this is the structure basicity relationship of amines so we compared the alkyl amines and ammonia right and uh, in the next lecture we will see the aryl amine and ammonia uh, comparison of basicity based on the structure so i hope you have understood all all the topic thank you so much